The original studies looking at the efficacy of the COVID vaccines included tens of thousands of people each, but they weren't able to tell us how well people with certain medical conditions might respond compared to the general population. And one of those groups of concern is cancer patients. Now, a new paper is shedding light on this question. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us tonight with the results. Doc. Hey, Karen and Jason. Yeah, so the paper looked at both the efficacy and the safety of the Pfizer vaccine in cancer patients who were receiving active treatment for their tumors. Now, this is important information because it touches on a related lingering question. What is the vaccine effect in people with relative immune compromise? Cancer patients undergoing active treatment are often immune suppressed, and that could mean the response to the COVID vaccine wouldn't be as good as expected. In a paper just published in JAMA Oncology, researchers in Israel looked at 232 patients with cancer that were being actively treated and compared their antibody response after receiving the first and second dose of the Pfizer vaccine to 261 healthy age-matched healthcare workers. After the first vaccine dose, only 29% of the cancer patients had an antibody response. That's compared to 84% of the healthy volunteers. After the second vaccine dose, the percent of cancer patients who responded increased dramatically to 86%. This lagging response really emphasizes the importance of cancer patients receiving both doses. The researchers also found that certain treatments and cancer types may have a greater effect on the vaccine effectiveness. For example, breast cancer patients made up 29% of those who did not develop COVID antibodies after the second dose, and 74% of the patients who didn't respond to the vaccine were receiving chemotherapy, although this would need more study before drawing any conclusions. From the standpoint of safety, the common pattern of side effects including pain at the injection site, fatigue, body aches, fever, or other symptoms didn't suggest any safety concern. Now, because the cancer patients in the study were receiving other routine tests as part of their treatment, there were a couple of other interesting things noted. About 10% of the patients had an increase in their liver enzymes after their first vaccine dose, and 5% of the patients had swelling of neck or armpit lymph nodes after receiving the vaccine. Frank, were the researchers able to say anything about whether a booster dose might help? Well, you know, Karen, this study couldn't say that, and unfortunately, they did not give any boost after the second shot. But there is also still the question of the durability of the response in this group relative to the need of a booster, and I'm sure they're going to follow these patients to see how long their immunity does last. Back to you. Still so much to learn. All right. Thank you, doctor.